Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 7th of August where I just look at one of our signals for potential fifth wave trade in our stock scanner membership area. Our members get potential long and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frame and the fifth wave is the highest probability move in a trend and Elliott wave sequence. We also uh, give them long and short trades on intraday time frames. I'm going to look at long trades today. In the members area for today on the 7th our members would simply click on the image here and download the potential long fifth wave trades. So if we look at the spreadsheet for today this is the potential long fifth waves on the daily time frame so 20th century Fox is one of them but I've gone for a different one to look at here and I've gone for F wonk I just love that uh, ticker so let's go and set that up also you see at the bottom of the spreadsheet 60 and the weekly uh, for potential fifth wave trades there as well so let's go to the chart this is our Elliott wave indicator suite for the think or swim training platform uh, we also available for multi charts trade station and ninja trader nt8 uh, but i'm using the think or swim version today so as you can see for those that have the our indicator suite this is the um, daily time frame uh, uh, for two years and all I did was I actually instead of isolating the wave count here I just wanted to show you a lot of the time uh, just put the bar count back to zero uh, and our Elliott wave indicator suite will indicate all the previous trends and where we are right now as you can see this particular stock does respect very well fifth wave moves both long and short where we are right now is we are in a bullish move and we've pulled back against that bullish move on a wave four and this is what we will look at in our stock scanner membership how that wave four behaves so first of all the wave force pulled back into one of our probability zones here and found support so the support's been found in the amber zone that gives us an 80 percent probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue the next thing is we want to see how that wave four performs further so the 535 oscillator needs to pull back and crown between 90 and 140 percent as you can see this is happening right now also the stochastic has the false breakouts on the top this yellow line here that denotes a really strong bullish trend when the stochastic pulls back against that crosses over in the oversold zone it wants to return to that strong bullish trend so there's the three main filters from our stock scanner membership and then we just need to set this up so we've identified the way four we've got to go for a reasonably conservative entry because it's quite uh, volatile at the moment so we want to make sure that we are on our way uh, from this wave four support level as you can see this last week we've had all these indecision doges this isn't really regaining that trend so we want to make sure it's on the way back up so i've gone for an entry at 3663 which is outside the 6-4 moving average high, the green moving average here on our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. And it's also above the high of this green candle coming down on the Wave 4 as well. So that was a rejection where, uh, and then came further down. So we want to make sure we're above that. Stop loss just below the Wave 4. So we're about 33.76 on the stop loss, which gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into our target zone. Target zone is around about $41 there in the middle. Um, so we've got a great risk reward simple entry all came from our stock scanner membership and then use the Elliott wave indicator suite that we have for the thinkerswim version just to set this one up really really very simple the Elliott wave indicator suite automatically gives us the Elliott wave counts the um, automatic um, pullback zones here and the and the target zones and then we have the 535 and the special false breakout stochastic building that picture together gives us a really high probability potential long on F1 um, like saying that a lot so um, on the daily time frame F1 long at 3663 that's it for today have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow